You've been asking for it and it's finally here. Today we're looking at two new maker pipe flanges designed for EMT conduit. Let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Jake and here at Maker Pipe, we produce American made parts and accessories so you can build with off the shelf EMT conduit. We share weekly videos with build inspiration, tips and tricks, hacks and creative uses of ordinary materials. Also, you can finish your DIY projects. If those types of videos interest you, then definitely consider subscribing. We appreciate it. You all know that the community is our favorite part of Maker Pipe, especially when you guys share creative solutions for unique building challenges. One problem in particular that we see a lot of people either solve or need help solving is mounting EMT conduit to a flat surface with a flange. A while back, we did a roundup of some awesome community flanges and tested their strength. Those solutions work great and I still recommend them to this day. We've also added not one, but two new extremely versatile flanges to the maker pipe building system. And I think you're really gonna like them. Today, we're gonna look at these new flanges, see how they work and talk about the hidden features inspired by the community. First up is the adjustable angle flange. It's made up of four pieces, two of which clamp around a terminating pipe like so. We call this the end clamp and you may recognize it from the adjustable angle connector and that's because they're the exact same and can be interchanged. These other two pieces make up the base of the adjustable flange. As you can see, there are six pre-drilled holes in the base that you can use to attach the flange to a flat surface. You can assemble the adjustable flange in a couple of different ways. You can attach the end clamp to the piece of conduit and tighten it completely like we did here, and then add the end clamp and the piece of conduit to the adjustable base with another nut and bolt. Just like all the other connectors in the maker pipe system, there is a nut pocket feature that holds the nut in place while tightening, which means you only need a single five millimeter hex wrench for assembly. You can also loosely assemble the base and end clamp together and attach it to a flat surface before adding in your conduit and tightening it all together. The adjustable angle flange is a great solution for various building challenges that you may run into. Just like the adjustable angle connector, it is the strongest when it's used in combination with other connectors. Let's say for example, you attach this flange to a flat surface like so. As you can see, when it's fully tightened, this flange will hold the conduit at the desired angle. But if you start adding a lot of weight here, it's gonna to start to hinge, and that's because it's designed to be adjustable. But if you add another connector, let's say a 45 degree connector, on the other end of the conduit, it'll become a lot more rigid and allow you to brace structures attached to a flat surface. As I said, the adjustable angle flange is a unique use case solution, but what if you want or need a rigid conduit base in your builds? That's where the other new flange comes into play. This new flange is designed so you can securely attach the end of EMT conduit to a flat surface. With this flange, you wanted to maintain the core aspects of the maker pipe connector system. We wanted it to clamp around conduit, incorporate community solutions, and be assembled with a single five millimeter hex wrench. Not only did we achieve those things, but we were also able to sneak in some other hidden features that you're probably not gonna expect, so stick around. This flange consists of two mirrored pieces that clamp around the conduit like so. Both pieces have the nut pocket feature, which means you can use a single five millimeter hex wrench for assembly. Just like the other maker pipe connectors, it comes in your choice of black or silver. The coating is corrosion resistant, which means you can use them outdoors without any concerns of rust. After you completely tighten the two provided nuts and bolts, you have a simple rigid flange connected to EMT conduit. There are four holes pre-drilled into the base of the flange, so you can securely attach the conduit to a flat surface. This simple flange is designed so you can easily mount EMT conduit to walls, ceilings, truck or trailer beds, and really any flat surface that you wanna build off of. It opens up new possibilities for shelving systems, storage racks, and all kinds of other projects. You can use it like this in its simplest form and do a lot of cool things in your builds. It also has some other hidden benefits, as I mentioned earlier, that allow you to do some other really neat things too. Because the two pieces in this flange are designed to clamp together, you have some mounting flexibility. You can clamp the flange anywhere along a piece of conduit, whether it's on the end like we just looked at or somewhere else along the pipe. We often see builders drill holes through wood and other materials to allow spans of conduit to continuously run through them. This shelf from the community is a great example of this technique. Because you can clamp the flange anywhere along a piece of conduit, you have some possibilities for attaching and securing flat surfaces throughout your builds. Imagine that piece of wood with a hole drilled through it slid over top of the conduit and attached to the flange underneath with the four holes. Instead of drilling holes through the material, you could simply rest a piece of wood or something against the conduit and then secure it. This new flange opens up a ton of great possibilities. When we strength tested the community flanges, there were two hacks that really stood out and increased the pullout strength of the attached conduit. 
That's maxed out. In this new flange connector, you'll find both of those hacks possible. Before securing the conduit to the flange, you'll want to add a non-lip threaded pipe insert into the end of it. We've done a couple of videos on how to do this and I'll link those down below. After adding the insert into the conduit and then securing the conduit to the flange, you'll be able to see the insert from underneath. Just like with the DIY flanges, you can combine a washer and countersunk bolt threaded into the insert to add extra pullout strength to the flange connection. Because we designed the flange with this hack in mind, there's an indent in the bottom of the plate which allows the flange to remain flush underneath so you can securely attach it to a flat surface without worrying about the hack interfering. The other hack is just as simple and provides a lot of extra strength. The flanges come pre-drilled with holes in them so you can use self-tapping screws through the connector and into the conduit for extra security and pull out strength. It's up to you whether or not you want to use one hack or both or maybe you don't use either of them. It all depends on what you're building and the strength needed in your project. Speaking of strength, we're going to be doing some testing on not only these new flanges, but also on the other maker pipe connectors in the very near future. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that video. When we were working on the concept of this flange, we noticed something else cool that we could incorporate into the design. As you can see, when the flange is completely assembled, there's a gap between the two pieces. This gap was left there intentionally and allows you to add one or two more pieces of conduit to the base if you desire. The gaps are designed to accept and secure pieces of conduit attached to end clamps like so. Just like with the adjustable angle flange, these two pieces of conduit can be adjusted to a desired angle. Maybe you want to run three pieces of conduit parallel to each other to reinforce a project. Maybe you want these two pieces of conduit to come in at an angle and attach to the same base as the rigid pipe. You can easily achieve these solutions with this flange connector. You could also make this flange or the other flange together and create a central hub for two, four, or even six pieces of conduit. Both of these flanges open up a ton of new possibilities, and we know the community is going to come up with all sorts of creative projects and uses for them. Let us know down in the comments what you think about these new flanges. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.